Now, when is ghusl mandatory and obligatory? There are a number of cases mentioned here in um, the textbook. Number one, the discharge of semen. So, one of the things that mandate ghusl is whenever semen is discharged and to be more accurate whenever semen is ejaculated why do you use this term because sometimes due to illnesses a person may discharge semen but it is not e ejaculated and this does not obligate ghusl so in the hadith of ali may allah be pleased with him the prophet said alayhi salatu wasalam idha fadakht al ma'a wajab al ghusl whenever water whenever semen is ejaculated it comes out in a gushing fashion then ghusl becomes mandatory and this means that if a person masturbates which is a sin by itself ghusl is mandatory if a person has nocturnal emission or what they call wet dreams the ghusl becomes mandatory if a person sees something that arouses him and cannot control himself and all of a sudden he ejaculates if a person is having intimacy or, or flirting and ejaculates all of these mandate and obligate him to perform ghusl 